Hey everyone, in this episode we're going to take a look at how to find fractions of a set. Fractions of a set simply means we're taking a look at a part of a larger set, or a fraction of a larger set. This first example we're going to take a look at is how to find 4 fifths of 15. To do that, let's start with a set of 15 pennies. Now we know from our study of fractions that the denominator of a fraction tells us how many equal groups to make. So let's start there. Let's make five equal groups. And if we do that with a group of 15, we need to make five equal groups of three. The top number then, the numerator, tells us how many groups to consider. In this case, we're going to consider four of these groups. One, two, three, four. To know 4 fifths of 15, I need to know how many pennies are in 4 of the 5 equal groups. In this case, there are groups of 3, and I need 4 of those groups. So 3, 6, 9, 12. 4 fifths of 15 is 12 of those pennies. Now there is an algorithm or a strategy that can be used to do this as well if I don't have a picture or have counters, and that strategy is to first divide, then multiply. Let's take a look at that on this same example. I have a set of 15, and what I want to do is make that into five equal groups. So the first step is to divide that 15 into five equal groups, and 15 divided by five will give me three. We said our second step is to multiply. I need to take that three and look at four equal groups, so three groups of those four is going to give me 12, the same answer we had in the other problem. Remember our strategy, divide, then multiply. Same process, different problem. Our steps are divide into equal groups, multiply by the number of groups. Let's take that 24 and divide it by 6. 24 divided into 6 equal groups is 4 in each group. And I need to look at 5 of those groups, 4 times 5 gives me 20. 5 6 of 24 then is 20. Same size set, different fraction. First step, 24 divided into 6 equal groups will give me 4 in each group. I'm looking at 2 of those groups. 4 times 2 then is 8. 2 6 of 24 will give me 8. If you can remember those two simple steps, first divide, then multiply, fractions of a set will be pretty simple.